are you big on Cezanne? I kind of want to reshift this to I, talk more about this emotive content or the, the more pure content that I'm speaking of. There's these paintings that Cezanne did of oh, Mont Saint Victoire. That's it. There's this is a classic example, right? Oh, wow. Um, where if you went and looked at the fucking thing from that spot and compared the two images, you would you would not see a resemblance. Oh, you really? Would say, well, looking at the photographs, you wouldn't. But my mentor in first year, Kim Spooner, always says to me, if you if you go to Mount Saint Victoire and are there amongst the trees looking at the mountain, but he's this... captured it the likeness perfectly on an emotive level at the time. On plein air or being in that space. Mm. That's the light at the time. That's why shadows and colour shifts. When you start watching the colours and tones, like you see it everywhere. When you're walking around town, it's fucking cool, mm. actually. I did that 15 paintings in 15 days. Yeah, which brings... Which fucking freaked me out. I almost mm. died doing it. But I started to think like an artist, I think. Mm. And maybe by being super prolific, that's the only way you feel that energy. Because oh, yeah. it started freaking me out. It was actually like you were tripping, you know, when you see shift in colour and change in light yeah. when you're so into watching it. Focused attention and then yeah, yeah you can normally, get a feel of the duration. Like. Normally we ignore all that stuff. And that study, I reckon, is because the light was constantly changing and there's different times of day. Mm. But it, it, it does bring me into my next question, and I'll talk about the 15 Plain Air series shortly. I, I did notice in doing the background for today how far you'd really come in noticing light and noticing the fall of light. I noticed a, um, a painting you did not all that long ago, Freshwater Way, and there's there's like a dune. The way you captured the darkness, the late day darkness, kind of cast over that dune. I, it was hard not to notice how much more detail you were kind of getting into into light, but okay, I want to know. That picture yeah, I've got one on my phone. I can show I, you. But I really want to know because you know I know that little spot so well, Long Reef, because that's where I surf my guts out. Oh right, okay. So it's it's and autobiographically I, very. I love that. Place. Imprinted. It was really great painting all that stuff. Oh fuck, I love that. <laughs> <laughs> I gave that to Gov. Yeah, yeah, that's a fucking ripper. I don't feel as strongly about the image of that as I do with. Your if you're just looking at the way you capture light, that's that was that's bang on, man. But um, see this bit. That's like normally you probably ignore that, but that's mm. where the lagoon often meets the yeah, sea. Yeah, it joins up. And sometimes it opens. But that bit of the area is stained, like different coloured soil or, or silt from the yeah, lagoon. Yeah. So that's probably happened because I walked across that. So I surfed just off that, and that's why I painted that for my mate Paul Govers, Gov, and. It was for his 50th, I think. His sister, Mary Ann, rang me up and said, can you do a painting? And I went, I know just the angle of Long Reef Headland in the distance and the lagoon. We parked just up between the lagoon and the headland, but we walked across just there. And there's always a beautiful break off there. So my question is, what, what does plein air bring to your practice that the studio doesn't? Right. Is it just capturing light? Are you, are you just looking at light or are you really thinking about place in other ways? What I love about that, all those ones that I really like, is they've all been done like within half an hour because it's right near the end of the light mm. or right at the beginning of the light and we have to get on the road. Or mm. strangely enough, there's always maybe a deadline, <laughs> it's, which is like something that I hate. I hate the deadline. But, I hate it too, but we, we need it as artists, don't we? But oh, wouldn't it be great if we didn't? Because yeah. then, <laughs> then we would be completely free. Yeah, then we'd be free, but then, you know, we like, wouldn't be human. Humans, would we? Well, what is does that make you a human? Deadline. And if you didn't have that stress of a deadline, I love that idea. But, but nothing but would we, get done. We all die. That's the ultimate deadline. We're so worried about those things because we're trying to defy our own well, fucking it does, deadline. It does create some adrenaline. Yeah. And we're made of chemicals, and mm. that serotonin gets released when you got to go for it. Mm. Which oh, I love my serotonin. 
But I look at that and I love it because of that diptych. And actually, that, all those little sketches, maybe not the bong, <laughs> that was done in the studio. And so that was overworked and overthought mm. about and probably, probably trying to make it more like a photograph. You actually can't trust your own mediation. Well, I can't because you I'm are... an art director and mm. I've been corrupted by so many mediums. By the analysis. You've got to think about everything. Yeah. Like, and maybe that's why, with photography, it's all about the light. But what makes it even better which is where art direction comes in it's all about the crop so and I've heard you say that a few times and I think it's interesting that a painter is so in tune with but that's social media direction. theory and it's the art direction coming through it is so it's there. interesting and colour right? mm. I can put together colour which sometimes people can't or I know what's well, aesthetically I but like it's an instinct thing I know people mm. that are amazing at it and designers that can do it amazing but it's funny when you have to fucking mix it all up like there's times when I've just tried to use the base paints from the tube and it never fucking works yeah and i actually believe that by starting with blue red yellow and green cmyk or whatever mm. the fuck it is the basic colors you get a better result when you mix your own colors you yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah 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 so you mix it up a that's bit. something they really do stress it now oh, well, yeah marie was showed us how to do it properly and i was like oh fuck oh yeah and you gotta and you do the thing with the the opposites where you